Hello and welcome back to another video made by All Clear Technologies. Have you ever wondered what you can do with your spare iPad laying around? Well, one great use would be to use it as a secondary display for your Mac. Today we're going to be showing you how to do this by using YAM Display. This supports both iPad and Mac. So, let's get straight into it. So, here's how to install YAM Display on your iPad OS device. So, start off by going to the App Store and searching for YAM Display. Then click Search. Now, there'll be a few ads that come up, such as this Do It Display, but you want to, you want to avoid that. Just click on YAM Display and click on the free version. There's also a paid version, but the free version gives you most of the features you need. So we'll click on this one, and then we'll click download. Now, if you haven't downloaded this before, it'll ask for a passcode. However, you, if you've downloaded it before, like in this case, then you can just download it like this. Now, if it asks about downloading on mobile data or in low power mode, just click download anyway. Additional data charges may apply, however. So we'll click open. And now YAM display on your iPad is ready to go. Now let's install it onto your Mac. YAM display on your Mac. So first of all, go to your web browser, in this case Safari, and then type in YAM display. Then click enter. Click on the first option, which says yamdisplay.com. Now click Download YAM Display for Mac. There's also some instructions here if you need them, but we'll be going through that today. So click YAM Display, and then click Allow Downloads. And now that it has completed downloading, you can quit out of Safari, go to your Downloads folder, and click yamdisplay.dmg. And it will start verifying and opening it. And then you need to drag YAM Display to your Applications folder. When you hear the little sound effect, that means it's copied. So now you can close out of that, eject, install YAM Display, and then go to Spotlight Search and type in YAM Display, and then click Open, and you need to install it into the Applications folder. So you'll need to restart your Mac at some point so it can finish installing. So we'll just click Install. Enter your administrator password. And now you'll need to approve it in System Preferences. So we'll click Open System Preferences. Just click OK. Or we'll click Security Preferences here. This will take us straight there. And then click, um, click the lock to make changes. Put in your administrator password and then click allow and then click allow. Now you'll need to restart your computer after doing this so we'll come back when this is restarted. Okay so now that you've restarted your computer go back to spotlight search and type in yam display and then click enter. Now you'll need to allow it to record your screen, so click Open System Preferences. And then click the lock to make changes, enter your administrator password, and then tick the box for your YAM display. And then click Quit and Reopen. This will allow it to mirror your Mac screen so that you can have it on your iPad. So now that's done, re-click the lock and you can close system preferences and now you can allow or not allow notifications I'm going to allow them. And now you'll need to reopen YAM display enter and now YAM display is running so you'll need to now connect it to your iPad so get your lightning cable or USB-C cable and then we'll come back and set this up Okay, so now we're going to connect these two devices together. So first of all, you'll need to open YAM Display on your iPad and your Mac. So we'll open it on the iPad, 
And now we'll go to Spotlight Search on the Mac and open Yam Display. Now it won't open as an actual window, it'll just show in the sidebar here, uh, in the menu bar. So you'll click the little Yam Display. And now what you'll need to do is get your Lightning or USB-C cable and then plug it from your iPad into your Mac, like so. Now it will start connecting to your Mac. So now it is a dual display. So we'll just position this so you can see it. And as you can see, I'll just uh, deny that for now. As you can see, if I open something like Safari, we can drag it over to the iPad and it is working as a dual display. So it'll also work for touch, but you'll have to allow accessibility features for touch to work. So yeah, I find this to be a really great um, thing to use your iPad for. It seems to be the least laggy one, considering it's going for a cable. So hopefully this was helpful and it has worked well for you. Please leave a like and subscribe and we'll see you all in the next video.